our lab is really interested in bridging the world of genomics measurements and tissue measurements. Um, the last 10 years has seen a revolution in genomics technology development powered in part by exponential decreases in sequencing costs. This has allowed us to profile genomes as well as transcriptomes and epigenomes from single cells. And from here, we're starting to understand the definition of cell types and states, as well as gene regulatory pathways behind them. But much of this data is collected in dissociated single cells where you don't have spatial context. Cells are not naturally living in dissociated series. They are interacting and, and composed of tissues. Our traditional tools to study tissue function has been through microscopy, where we can measure morphology, pathology, or staining. But the challenge is that these are, represent two very distinct data modalities and two different ways of collecting data. Uh, in particular, single cell has very high molecular resolution, as well as has this true single cell capture of molecular transcriptomes, while spatial transcriptomes gives you spatial context, but often leaves you with mixed spatial profiles, either from segmentation or from the fact that nearby cells get captured into the same pixel. And when we developed slide tags, we thought it would be great if we could unify these two worlds, where we can collect single cell sequencing and at the same time just know exactly where those cells came from. That's the gist. And we take all of the single cell measurements and convert them into spatial cell measurements. So in slide tags, we start with these 10 micron diameter beads. We coat these beads with millions of oligonucleotides that all contain the same spatial bead barcode per bead. We then array these beads on a glass slide and we sequence these spatial bead barcodes in situ so that we know the spatial XY location of each of these spatial bead barcodes. We then take a 20 micron fresh frozen tissue section and we melt these onto the barcoded bead arrays. Next, we use UV light to cleave these oligonucleotides and these diffuse into the tissue and barcode individual nuclei. We then take these barcoded nuclei and use these as input into established single nucleus sequencing platforms. Slide tags offers these three key innovations. It gives us true single cell data, but with spatial resolution. And the data type in quality is indistinguishable from standard single nucleus RNA sequencing platforms already existing. Finally, we can actually use these nuclei to be put into any of the established single nucleus RNA sequencing platforms available, and indeed any single nucleus sequencing and multi-omic technologies as well. And finally, we can also use existing single cell analysis tools so we don't have to redevelop the analysis pipelines. Another key point is that the tagging procedure only introduces 10 minutes of upstream workflow time to any single nucleus RNA sequencing platform. In the lab, we mainly manufacture two flavors of arrays. We manufacture square 5.5 by 5.5 millimeter arrays and circular three micron diameter arrays. And on each square 5.5 by 5.5 millimeter arrays, we array in the order of 240,000 beads. And on these circular three millimeter arrays, we array in the order of 70,000 beads. The neat thing about these arrays is that they're scalable. We can actually change both the shape and the size of the arrays to fit the tissue that we want to profile. So in our technique, as nuclei sit on top of the spatial bead barcode array and the oligos are released into the tissue, they diffuse. And then we can look to see which spatial barcodes these nuclei have taken up. And when we look at this, they form really tight distributions of spatial barcodes. And so analogous to GPS, we can locate where these nuclei were in the original tissue from these populations of spatial barcodes. And when we do this, we can do this to really high accuracy. And if we take the standard error of these distributions, we can measure just how accurately we're doing this. And we see that we're doing this to approximately three and a half micron resolution, which is analogous to the size of a nuclear radius itself. In order to validate slide tags, we turn to the mouse hippocampus, which has a stereotyped architecture. And from the single cell data that we derive, we can make these dimensionality reduction plots. And here we're showing a UMAP of these cells. But with slide tags, we can actually localize these nuclei. So if we take these examples of cell types in the UMAP and we look to see where the spatial barcodes they've collected um, are located in XY space, we can see these they form these really tight XY, tight Gaussian distributions of spatial barcode UMIs. And when we do this for all cells and localize them, we can move easily between real XY space and these dimensional reduction space in the RNA sequencing data. And so we can plot expected cell types in the mouse hippocampus here and recapitulate those. 
But also we can recapitulate gene expression, so showing the in situ hybridization data here on the bottom from the mouse Allen cell atlas, and also the gene expression data that we derive from slide tags. Now that we have slide tags, a tool for truly single cell spatial genomics, we wanted to apply it to lots of different human tissue contexts to really show what new biology we can learn from such a tool. So in our paper, we apply slide tags to the human cortex, where we define fine cell subtypes and find spatially varying genes across these subtypes in the human cortex. In the human tonsil, we predict and spatially contextualize receptor ligand interactions that are important in immune responses. And finally, in a human metastatic melanoma sample, we apply slide tags to really demonstrate the multimodal capacity of slide tags and how it can be used to understand tumor evolution. For this metastatic melanoma sample, when we spatially barcoded nuclei within the tissue section, instead of just sending them for st standard single nucleus RNA-seq, this time we took the nuclei and we did single nucleus RNA-seq, single cell attack-seq, and TCR enrichment all on the same cells, thus giving us RNA whole transcriptome information, giving us chromatin accessibility information from the attack data, and TCR sequences in the T cells so we can understand T cell clonality and how that relates to the different tumor cells and how they spatially organize within the cancer sample. So if we take our tumor cells that we profile in RNA and attack space and we map them in tissue space, we find that these transcriptionally and epigenetically distinct tumor clusters also spatially divide. So you can see that this tumor 1 cluster and tumor 2 cluster are spatially distinct in the tissue. And if we use tools like infer CNV to infer copy number variation from the RNA data, we see that these tumor clusters that are transcriptionally and epigenetically distinct also seem to be genomically distinct, suggesting that these are two different tumor clones that we're localizing within the tissue. The interesting question now that we, we've learned this about our tumor cells is, is to ask what the microenvironments of these tumor cells look like between the two tumor subpopulations. And if we take the CD8 T cells and compare them, we see that CD8 T cells within the tumor 2 population have a more cytotoxic phenotype. And finally, if we look back at our TCR clonality data, we see that there's one particularly expanded T cell clonotype that is differentially infiltrating into tumor 2 compared to tumor 1. So these are more cytotoxic T cells that are infiltrating into one side of the tumor that is both transcriptionally, epigenetically, and genomically distinct. To learn more about how we're doing the spatial positioning for slide tags data and all the downstream analyses, this is available um, on our GitHub. And also, all of our data is, is publicly available if, if you're interested in exploring more and, and having a look at, at slide tags data for yourself. Now that we have seen how SlideX works and is implemented, I wanted to talk about how we implement the protocol and how labs can start to think about using it in their own groups. We designed our workflow to be as simple to implement as possible. This was really important for us to maximize its uptake and usage. The barcoding steps only add approximately 10 minutes to single nucleus preparation. We would advocate for all single nucleus experiments to use slide tags as you get the added advantage of spatial coordinates for very little additional time, cost, and effort. The only thing most labs will require is the barcoding pucks. We make the arrays in-house, but have provided detailed instructions in the manuscript on how, how a lab might start making arrays themselves. We try our best to fulfill requests for barcoded bead arrays, which are being made continuously and in a high demand. We are always open to collaboration and also hope that in the near future, these arrays will be commercialized, which will democratize this technology even further. SciTags is a platform for single nucleus genomics where you can take any single cell measurement and obtain the spatial context of those cells with 10 micron resolution. We're excited in our lab to import the whole host of single cell molecular measurements going from DNA to epigenomes to RNA and apply those to exciting biological questions of tissue organization.